And it seems like Pitch Rivers um, enables us in Nice, especially here in the UK, to see what we um, are about, what we have and what we have had. And I think that's very important because it allows us to connect with our identity. They are custodians and bearers of people's memories and, and histories, culture. I just want us to take control of our narrative of our story. I feel, I feel like growing up, we didn't really have a story, like a chronological story. Uh, these artifacts being displayed in such an institution as Pitt Rivers is, uh, allows us to, to relate the story of the, these artifacts back to the country such that we can regain our footing as a united people. It's essentially um, of us looking at ourselves, looking at um, our culture, looking at how we relate to each other and looking into what connects us as South Sudanese people. The museum has a lot of um, artifacts from South Sudan. It has allowed me to see items that I have never seen before in person, items that we might not even have in the country anymore. So it really ties into my identity and the fact that it shows me what my community has had and also um, what my community has lost as well. Uh, these objects that we've been viewing, they serve uh, multiple uh, functions, uh, some spiritual, some uh, domestic use, utility, some purely artistic, others are used in everyday productive activities. The thing that was very interesting about them is that all of them had a level of decorative detail that for the, for the artifact itself you wouldn't necessarily associate a, 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 like a weapon with being beautiful or like being aesthetically like appealing but for some reason there, there was just so much work and effort put into making the artifact actually look beautiful. The photographs documented um, South Sudan at the time. Having things documented visually is, is, a, is a powerful way to you know create a story collectively and it doesn't limit anyone because everybody can see it. So I've also seen the ritual of slaughtering bulls um, on those photos, so something that I've also witnessed in person. I've seen a range of different artefacts, mainly from Zande, Nuer and Dinka tribes. The two objects that stood out to me most was the Nuer Dang, the spiritual Dang, and the Dinka shield. Ivory is something that is really, um, has a lot of value, and also the trade of ivory is like a huge problem um, in Africa. So, so that's a kind of a cultural item that is um, dying out. I was able to view some Lupara and um, Mundu artefacts which were really um, of great personal significance to me because those are the tribes that I hail from. The importance of objects uh, in forging uh, a, a sense of collective belonging where every South Sudanese is able to see themselves represented in the body politics of, of, the, of the new country. It was a very touching experience for me to be here and, and see those artefacts. We're now in a position where we can, we have the resources to create something that we can potentially, yeah, just leave on for generations and generations just to see. It's completely limitless in terms of keeping people's memory alive. I'm glad that this museum has these artefacts and is keeping it for future generations. And in terms of identity, I think places like the Pitt Rivers Museum, that um, this is only the tip of the iceberg in terms of uh, cultural artefacts that we have. And the more South Sudanese learn about our cultural artefacts, the more it will unite us, the more we learn about one another, our tribes, and the more it will bring us together as a nation. I think uh, every human individual ought to know their past, the, where they have come from, if they ever have an aspiration to know where they are headed. And the more we learn about our present and our past, the more we can plan for the future and have a sense of belonging and purpose.